Hello, I'm come, I come to you guys uh, with another video about a major update to one of my plugins. This time it is for Chromatic Multipage Scraper plugin. Uh, the update consists about uh, two major things. The first one, which is easier to explain, it is uh, the addition of creation of custom post taxonomies. So, uh, the plugin starting from the latest version, it will be also be able to create custom taxonomies for posts. Until now, it created only custom fields, but starting from now, it can also create custom post taxonomies from the crawl content. The taxonomy values can be assigned like this, custom taxonomy name, custom taxonomy value, And the taxonomies can be uh, differentiated by this value. So the post can also have custom taxonomies from starting from now. And another great feature that is uh, the, in my eyes, it is even greater than this, that uh, makes this plugin more unique on the market, is that it can crawl infinite uh, uh, content from the imported page. So uh, what this means is that the plugin crawls a post, for example. Let's uh, exemplify this. Let's load TechCrunch. And you can save uh, the in the plugin. You can save a variable that you will use in the generated post content and assign let's say the article content to it you can create another variable and assign to it the featured image uh, if you find the uh, html selector normally so you can assign this button to another a short code and use it in the post content or post taxonomies, post custom post meta, metadata. So the possibilities for this is are almost infinite. So let me show you real quick this. The new feature will be found here: custom shortcode creator. The how you can use this is like this. So, you can define a shortcode name. The shortcode name must be separated by the uh, location of the crawl content in the post by this arrow. So, you write the shortcode name, this arrow. Uh, how can the content be detected? So, in this time, the class is post content in the generated post. Uh, so let's change this to article content. Okay. So in this case, my custom shortcode will hold uh, content from the article content class found in the crawl post. So the plugin crawls this post, finds the article content class and import all content found in it in the my custom shortcode so let's copy this shortcode and simply replace uh, the my custom shortcode with with the custom shortcode that we just created okay and also let's create a custom shortcode for the title article title so to create another one you should write it on the new on a new line so all you have to do is copy it and write it like this my title shortcode class article title as you can see article title class is the title of the post and we can use my title shortcode in the sorry in the title 
and like this you will have a custom title and custom content this is very useful not all not just in the post content or title but it is extremely useful in the custom fields part and the custom post taxonomies part so uh, until now this was limited to only the imported post content and title and image tags categories and some other features but starting from now this will also accept content uh, custom crawled content so this is a major breakthrough for this plugin it can crawl unlimited content and add unlimited variables and unlimited post meta from the crawl pages okay so now let's demonstrate this feature real quick okay so let's check it out let's run it and import a post it should contain a valid title and a valid post content and it as you see a title is imported and also the content is fully imported okay so this feature can be very very useful when using custom fields and custom taxonomies for posts as i already mentioned and also when you want to generate your custom post content from different parts of the page you just create your own variables and write your uh, post uh, as you wish so we can write here another variable and here we can write another variable this only to demonstrate the potential of this new update okay so uh, this is all for this time i hope you will enjoy enjoy this new feature for the plugin until next time bye bye